Yes, when I was in Russia, I took test for KGB, and I was the only one in the whole class to pass it. Okay. Now I'll give you the same question to you, see how smart you are. Oh, no. Oh, All no, right. not no, that it's smart. No, it's very, it's very simple. Okay. See, in Disney World, murder was committed. They have five suspects. Number one, Santa Claus, Mickey Mouse, Bugs Bunny, sad woman, a happy woman. Who did it? Come on, you can think. The sad woman. Huh? The sad what woman. What do you say? Sad woman. You're right. You know why? Why? All the four don't exist. That's <laughs> See, I was good. I, I passed the test. God bless. I, I made it. I made it. Hi, I'm Hitchhiker Samu, and you're watching Ring Fever. There is no cure. You might have been a WWE diva, but right now you know what you are, you're a fever diva. The original fever diva. <laughs> the original fever diva. GTG is about good times, guaranteed. And that's what Rick Fever is about. GTG, baby. Good times, guaranteed. We're here with Dan Sherman. Tell us about your place. Uh, welcome to Sports Heroes and Legends in 10 Giffords Lane. We have signing events every single month. Today we have Tammy Sonny, Hall of Famer, 2011. Nikolai Volkov, Hall of Famer, 2005. And Samu, two-time tag team champ. Every single month, Sports Heroes and Legends has wrestling event signings. Sports Heroes and Legends, 10 Giffords Lane, your family place for the WWE superstars. Hey everybody, I'm Sunny, the original diva of the WWE and 2011 WWE Hall of Famer. You're watching Ring Fever, where the fans are the stars. What's your name? Nicholas. Nicholas, where are you from? Out here in Staten Island? Uh-huh. Yeah? You have, who are you here to see with today? Uh... All three? Yeah, Samuel, much. Nikolai, and, and Sunny? Yeah. All right, cool. Your wrestling fan like TNA or WWE? Which, which one do you like? WWE. WWE. All right. Nice to see you, man. Have a good time, all right? All right, buddy. How are your children? Okay. Yeah, just tell us about They're your kids. They're not human. Your kids, your kids are not My human. kids aren't human. My kids are canine. <laughs> see? Oh, I see. Oh, those, are two, all right. those are my sons. Uh, two sons? Those are two of my kids. Easy to have them, though, right? That's my baby, Apollo. He's 60 pounds. Okay. And the big one, he's 93 pound pit bull. He's, his name is Ozzy, and his big mama's boy. And that's Zena, my daughter. She's the oldest. She'll be three in October. See? That's beautiful. My little girl. Nice. So okay. my pit bulls, they're my children. All right, I thought you really meant you had children, but those are your they children. Do. All right, all right, all right. You know what I mean, though. You know what I, mean. <laughs> I care for them like, they're, like my kids. But. All right. Yeah, I saw you uh, at MCU Park. I saw you all over. What's what's going on with you today? I just come here, you know, for uh, for this uh, autograph session here. It's a beautiful place, uh, and uh, New York is like my, you know, uh, second home. When I first come to this country, that's why I wrestle in New York. You know, that's right. always I love New York. I love New York. You know, and uh, it, it's beautiful. And I've been around for a long time, as you know, and I'm still I'm, and I'm still around because. It, I believe you can have everything, but if you don't have your health, you don't have nothing. That's why Amen. I always try to stay healthy. Yes. Yeah. And you're still in the ring, man. Yeah, I still wrestle once in a while. I know this. Yeah. I know. I've seen you. I could be I could be 65 in October. Wow. And I don't take no medication, and I feel good. Still working out, obviously. Yeah, I always still work out a little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I go hit a little bit better. Now. Well, let me ask you this. Well, during the day, what else do you do? If you're not wrestling, what do you do during the day, let's say? Well, I work for the government. I work for the Police Athletic Club in Baltimore, okay. Hawkersville. And then I, I train kids, you know, train them, work out with the weights, uh, uh, track, uh, train them with the basketball, the ping pong, pool table, chess, everything. You name it, I train them. Amen. Right. Yes, and I love it. The, uh, the young kids, you know, the whole world belongs to them, you know, because they, now that they change, stay away from drugs, stay clean, go to school, finish school, and prepare yourself for the life. That's a great message. 
So you know what? We can go into the whole wrestling thing, but you know what? I want to get past that. Tell us what like a day's like with you. Like what, what's going on in your life? You get up, you still train, you still work out. Or, you know, not what do you do for leisure? Not as much as I used to. I have a wrestling school now, and I train the up and coming kids of today. And I also have a weekly TV show, Blast TV, okay. and you can. Uh, so it takes up a lot of your time, you know yes. that, with being with TV and editing and everything like that. But you can check our show out, too, at WXWC4.com. Okay. How you feel, man? You seem excited. Yeah. Was that good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That like was that? cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever do that before? With, with, with no, never no? again. No, never. No, never again. No, no, I mean, no, no, never, at so never, so never at all. Not at so all. Excited. He's excited. Yeah, you're flubbing your words. You're going crazy, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was awesome. He lifted you up pretty good. Yeah. Right? Strong guy. Strong guy. Big yeah. guy, right? It's like 290. At least. Yeah. Oh, so it's exciting for you. Oh, it's very. Awesome, very, awesome. very. Tell us how you feel after all the years, the adoration of the fans still coming out to see you. I mean, that's got that's got to be unbelievable. Oh, of course. Well, I'm in my 21st year in this business. Um, not many girls last that long. <laughs> and not many look that good after that, such a long time. Yeah, um, longevity for females in this business is very short. It's usually around six, seven years average. If I mean, if they're lucky that long. There's a lot that are two, three years and they're in and out. But uh, yeah, 21 years now. Not and, and you still got a good attitude. I noticed with the fans, you seem to be, you know, you're patient. You're nice. You know, sometimes. Sometimes people have an attitude. The way I look at it, every time I do any kind of signing, I always try to talk to people. Little kids, I like to ask them who their favorite wrestler is because if you think about it, they're not paying for a picture or an autograph. They're paying for the experience. They're here to have that couple of seconds of interaction with you, and that's what they're paying for. So you got to think about it this way. There's like a lot of people, I'm not going to name names that I've done signings with, and they don't yes. even look up. They're yes, like that's this, right. This. That's right. And they don't realize that these people pay their bills. These fans pay their their electric bill, That's their right. mortgage, their utilities, their gas bill, their cable, everything that these wrestlers have is because of these fans. So if you don't give them that couple seconds of, you know, of that interaction and what they really want, then you know, you're kind of chinching them out of what they're here for. You know, years ago, I mean, I don't want to get to the steroid thing, but I don't think a, a lot of the wrestlers didn't deal with that years ago, right? Well, one for time, some... one time, lots of people, so I never took none, that's why I'm sitting around. Lots of people that, that was younger than me and took steroids, they're all gone by now. Really, huh? Yeah. It breaks your body down. Also, you break your body down, and you have a problem with your knees, with your backs, and everything. And also, you know, steroids are it's just like drugs, you know? Well, thanks for your time so Thank much, you Nicola. Unbelievable. What a living legend right here. Thanks so much for your time. You find that a lot of wrestlers uh, get into, like, training up-and-coming kids, or it's just a passion that you have, because uh, it seems like you stayed very much involved. Oh, yeah. I, I like that. Yeah, we, we still have a very well working relationship with the WWE and uh, we've produced stars like um, Batista and uh, Bam Bam Bigelow. I mean, there's just name goes on. I mean, also he trained, Bigelow also trained at the Monster Factory. But uh, there was a lot of stars, Billy Kidman, uh, Gene So you see like a springboard? You like a springboard for the WWE? Basically, yes, basically, yeah. We go, they'll come from, they'll come to us from us. They usually go down to developmental for a couple years and then they head up to the to the Fed, uh, but um, it's just something that my dad's been doing for years, and uh, I took over, he moved down to Florida, so I kind of took over everything in the Northeast. What do you do besides, like, I, obviously, we know your wrestling accomplishments, Hall of Fame, the whole thing, we can, I can ask you 50 million questions about that, but you as a person, what's your day like, what, what are you doing, like, for leisure and fun, and... Well, Monday through Friday, I'm normal, just like anybody else. I take, Jimmy, Jimmy. I take care of my house, I take care of my three kids, my pit bulls, my canine yeah, yeah, kids. Yeah, we saw them um, I'm on a regular gym schedule, tanning schedule. I cook, you know, every meal. It's just I'm, I'm a very domesticated person. You'd never know, but I'm completely oh, domesticated. Right. And then on the weekends, I go play and I do this. Uh, you know, I'm very, um, I'm very active with the Humane Society and ASPCA awesome. and some yeah. local animal shelters in my area. Uh, twice a year, actually, my boyfriend and I we hold two big fundraisers. We have parties at our house, and all of our guests bring donations. Our Fourth of July is for the Humane Society. Our Halloween parties for the ASPCA, and then all year long I do collections at my gym and local businesses for all the local animal shelters. We collect bedding and food and cookies and stuff like that. So I do. I'm, you can tell with three pit bulls, I'm a huge animal activist. But that's pretty much how I spend my life, and I love doing it. That's great to hear. See, that's the human side. You're giving, and it's wonderful. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. You have a little bit of an attitude. What's that about? You know, I, I gotta do what I gotta do, brother. What, what, what is that? And that's be me, Richie DeGreck, the greatest promoter in the YouTube world. You think so? To hydrate your body, you only need plain water with a pinch of sea salt. How about vodka? Can I, I like vodka. <laughs> I never drink vodka. 
No, you can't dehydrate your body. No, no, even when I'm constipated. <laughs> You no. came outside, you harassed us. What was that about? I didn't harass you. No, I, you, you did know. a little bit. You pulled bit. over, tried yeah. to pick me up. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't, got, I ain't picking I you know. up, bro. Where am I picking you I up? Oh, I heard eight, said she. I did say that. Come in. I did do that. Yeah. But did you see what was behind you? Unfortunately, I was. <laughs> no. Yeah, Danny. He was behind me. All right.